How's it going everyone? My name is Dave and welcome to another Discussions and Rants video. Um, so last week I put up a video that caught uh, one of you guys' attention um, and asked me a particular question on something that I might have in mind. This is the first time where somebody's actually suggested something and I thought it'd be kind of A, respectful to um, actually talk about that since that's what I keep asking for. <laughs> And B, I actually found this question quite um, interesting and definitely worthy of talking about anyway. Now, this particular statement came from Andrew Wilson, who claimed, and I quote, apologies, you're not going to see any of the text yourself, that's why I'm quoting it. Um, I'm curious if you wonder about how people came to be and if human life has purpose. This is a very interesting thing to talk about because it hits on um, like different theories or um, synopsis, 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 that's not it, uh, on scenarios that have been spread out into different circumstances and and I think it's something that definitely deserves the right to talk about. So, onward to talking about that. Now, personally, I was raised on the idea of there being um, a god. I was raised as LES, or Mormon, as a lot of more people know it as. Um, it's not to say, like, I... Mormon technically, but I have a different Einstein on that, which I'll discuss in a little bit during this video. Um, <clears throat> but that religion uh, gives off the thought of, hey, there was a god, is a god who had created all life, um, the earth, basically the general universe that we have explored thus far, um, water, plants, living things, us, all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's a lot to go into that. I'm not going to go too much into detail about that because that's not what this video is. It's not something I'd want to go into too much detail about anyway. Um, but I was raised on that particular um, idea, that belief, that religion. Um, but every time I've considered kind of grown up now, every time I consider something like this, I'm like, it's more, I, I don't know if you would say logical or not, but it's more going by the idea of, well, this is a possibility, this is a possibility, that could be a possibility, all that kind of stuff. Like, for example, the Big Bang Theory, that kind of, that kind of started everything. It could be a possibility. I mean, you think about it, it's a very, very old theory. I'm aware it's pretty much outdated at this point, shrouded by several different theories. That doesn't particularly mean that this particular, particular theory isn't true. Because this theory dates back to before life even existed. The creation of just space itself, or... As some call, like some people have different names for this. The Big Bang, Kolob, um, Pre-Existence. There are different titles for it, which make it very much more interesting, very much, much, very much more complex. But nonetheless, still a very liable possibility because there's nothing saying that it didn't happen. No evidence to support the claim of it didn't happen. Um, I mean, maybe there is, and I've just spaced it out, but you kind of get the point. So, there's one good example of that. Now, again, the statement that I had read off, I had quoted, um, had a couple different points to it. Um, that's kind of just pointing towards the beginning of all of it. Now I'm going to jump to existence of life. There are several different beliefs out there, several different aspects, religions, beliefs, um, controversial theories, so many that point on this front. 
but the existence. There's the theory of evolution. There is, again, religions that say different things happen. Different gods have done it, or different a different specific god has done it. Um, and quite frankly, I th personally think there is a higher being. I can neither confirm nor deny what that higher being is. Again, I was raised on the belief, the religion of claim stating that there was one specific god. Um, and I lived through that religion almost all my life. Technically, I still live through it, but I abide by my own belief. Again, talk about that in a little bit. Um, but the idea that, um, life, like humanity, was existed through evolution, it's... Quite frankly, it is a very interesting theory to me, um, because it brings out concepts that, under a logical sense, would make sense. Um, it kind of goes against some other aspects, like the whole gods thing, the whole god creating the earth, or whole gods existing like Ra, or Zeus, or, you know, Thor people like that those don't really they have certain backstory pieces to them and they kind of help explain certain bits of it none of them in my eyes have really ever fully explained the all of it that's the only reason why I think personally that any of them could work um, there are millions on the world who think one thing millions who think another and that's fine. That is completely fine. I'm going to start with the evolution theory. Or, well, where, like, we derive from, what, what was it, monkeys? <laughs> it makes sense when you look at the genetics at certain points in times, how the genes are built. Not particular. I'm not saying particularly that the genes themselves are the same, but the way they collide. It makes a lot of sense to me that that would work. Um, maybe it was trial and error on some aspects. Maybe it could have been, hey, you know what? It, it could have been like, I'm going to take one of the games I play, the game franchises I play, like the, Le the Legend of Zelda, for example. Look at it this way. The Zora are creatures that existed at the beginning of the Zelda timeline, uh, for those who don't play The Legend of Zelda, might not, or the newer ones are the ones that are more recent than the classic Zelda, Zelda 2, Link to the Past. If you play the ones that come after that, you'll kind of know what I'm referring to, maybe. But the fact that there's this group called the Zora, and they kind of just go away at a point, replaced with the Rito. But there's this thing that goes around saying that they're the same thing just evolved of uh, the like the Zora has evolved into the Rito that kind of thing to kind of suit what scenario they're provided with and I think it's the, like the same kind of thing would work for humans now I can neither confirm nor deny whether that would actually suit with you know monkeys or not <laughs> but whatever species it might be I'm sure in some kind of way it would work. Uh, there are other scenarios, like this is just kind of one example of several, I'm not going to go into every single one of them. That would be a ginormous video, and that's not what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to stick with 10 to 20 minutes. But that kind of gives you an idea of what my mindset is when I think of this kind of stuff, when it comes to human life, human evolution, or human creation. Um, it could be any. I'm open to whatever, as long as there's a logical reason for it to make sense. As long as there's something to back it up. Um, let's see. What was the other thing? Purpose. Purpose in life. If the last aspect of the statement, as I claimed at the beginning of this video, was purpose, I'll go ahead and throw in like where kind of my beliefs stand within this section, because I think it would make more sense at this point. 
My, as I said before, on a couple of times already, I was raised as LDS or Mormon. Um, <clears throat> but the way I've looked at things is belief is different from religion. And I'm sure I mentioned that, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in last week's video as well. Um, maybe, I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm very forgetful, which is punishing on that front. But whether I did or didn't, now you know. Um, but this kind of ties into the fact that the only, I, I believe more like that belief matters more than religion, as I literally just said. But that belief can be so many different things in my mind. But my beliefs always tie into as long as there's something that gives evidence to show that this is defin a definite possibility. I'll believe it as long as there's damning evidence. Or at least good enough supporting evidence. Which brings me up to purpose. Do we have purpose? Again, evidence can show you whether, show me at least, why I would think that yes, each individual has purpose. Now, whether or not they have found it yet, that's a completely different question. Um, each individual person, I think, does have their own purpose, but it's not a sense of, hey, you're being put into life, here's what you need to do, do it. Because then, well, you're not really having much of an adventure in life if you already know your purpose. You'll just be focusing on that one thing, make sure you get that done, and then pretty much, okay, uh, higher being, I'm done, take me away. It's like, that would, there'd be no point in the rest of living. Or at least, that's one way of looking at it. Another way of going about it is, that, like, the only reason to progress otherwise is enjoyment. Now, that could be another purpose as well, just to enjoy life as it is. Like, because there are always some people on this planet who will go, like, hey, my purpose is to help others. Like Danny, like Danny Wilson, um, quite frankly, the way I see his purpose in life is something that he ended up, th th this is the core of purpose to me, what you're passionate about. And for a lot of people, that is help. Danny found it through live streaming and his beats. His beats led to him doing live streams, doing beats while live streaming, and it led to him doing something he really, really, really enjoys. And, I mean, he has said it on his live streams for that on his own. So, I mean, you don't believe me, go watch his live streams. Or, I should say, like, watch some of his past ones. I don't remember what particular live stream it was. It would take me too long to actually try to find it because I always start from the first one to the last. It would take me forever to find it. So, it won't be linked here, but I do recommend checking out his channel. That I can link. Um, I'll actually put a link to both of his channels. He just started up a new one that separates the beats from the live streams and hangouts. That being said, that is completely off topic. Slightly, aside from the fact that, again, I'm using him as an example. His purpose is as I just claimed. Live streaming and giving motivational discussions involving others in doing so. And... That's one of very, very many I could probably list out. Um, but I'm going to go for more of a... And I'll give off another example. This one kind of going to be pretty vague. There are many people in the world who have a grown-up appreciating certain aspects of what they're raised with. Let's use um, Billy Joel, for example. For those of you out there who don't know who Billy Joel is, if you come across this video, uh, Billy Joel is an artist um, around the 80s, and I believe a little bit in the 90s too, I think. It was between, um, it was within the 80s time period, I know that. Uh, he is one of my favorite artists from that time era. I love Billy Joel, but there's a, there was a station that I came across while, um, taking a drive with my dad, he was listening to this stereo, and he was listening to um, a station where Billy Joel gave off, re like, he was talking about his inspiration for the music he wrote, and just that alone already tells me that his 
his purpose in life's what well, life's I'll get to that part in a sec as well actually his purpose in life is to make fantastic music using his own life experiences everyone has life experiences for every specific reason take me for example I love helping people out um, I love doing what I can to reach out to others, which is actually what started these videos in the first place. Well, actually, Danny inspired me to start doing that, but it gave me the idea for these videos. Um, or at least constantly doing them. Dan, uh, that being said, my purpose, I believe, I'm still trying to find out fully whether this is my actual purpose or not, is to help other people who reach out and need that help to make others laugh to make others smile um, I usually don't come across many who show perfect evidence of this but I have seen it enough to where I can definitely convince myself that yeah that's why I'm here to help other people it seems to be for me with my life experience it seems to be very direct specific people but people nonetheless who definitely ended up needing the help if you guys are curious about that, I can talk about it some other time, but that is not for this video. Now, that being said, um, I'm going to talk about this last little piece of information. We'll go a little bit past 20 minutes on this, but that's fine. I wanted to cover each aspect of the topic that was being brought up. This brings me back to life. I was, what I mentioned about Billy Joel earlier, um, what I said I was going to bring up now, let me go ahead and talk about that. And I'm not going to use Billy Joel as an example. It just got my mind racing up to this point. But with life, there are certain circumstances that go very deep into this kind of topic. It wouldn't have tied in if I had mentioned it earlier. But now that I've talked about purpose... Where does life go after purpose, after your purpose has been fulfilled? Uh, is there a life after that? That kind of ties in with this, so I thought I might as well add it in. Um, it wasn't mentioned in the comment that I read at the beginning of this video, but I think it's definitely worth noting. Um, <clears throat> so, life after life. Do I think it's, uh, if it's a thing that would happen, if it exists, if it's a possibility? Definitely, yeah. Um, now there are some statements that go, hey, when you die, are you going to become an, a different type of animal, another human being, a tree, a plant, whatever it might be, a rock? Like, because this kind of cores on the belief of, like, spirit mediums. Connecting with spirits in inanimate objects. Quite frankly, it is a very fascinating thing that I believe. The person I wear these for, my girlfriend, um... <sighs> she is part of that belief. That's not to say whether she's a spirit medium or not, but she does believe in that kind of stuff. That's why I wear this necklace. Well, actually, it's two necklaces, but combined in one, just to kind of symbolize the both of us. Anyway, that's aside the point. The aspect of there being life after life, that's a just outright yes for me. How it happens? I don't know. Um, what I explained, where it could be your soul going into another living or inanimate thing, I'll take that possibility. There's no, nothing saying that it can't happen. There's nothing saying that that's not possible. So yeah, I'm not going to deny that possibility. There's also the many, many religions actually believe this one, that your spirit goes somewhere else. And this is not just religions either. And not like different items or living things, just like it moves on to a different time or a different life space or something like that. There are different phrasings for this, but let me, I'm going to try to pinpoint what uh, the one I was taught as an example, which actually falls, it lines up with a lot of others as well, um, is that there is a veil and that spirit goes to the other side of that veil once you die to be reconnected with your buried body later on completely reformed as it originally would have looked like look at me now i'll die i'll look completely wrinkled on skin and all that and it'd be resurrected 
reformed anew. Now, there are a lot of religions that believe that, and I think it's definitely a feasible thought, yes. Um, because with, when it comes to death, this is a very hard topic to consider, because you don't really, there's no damning evidence for anything. There are records, but this comes from, like, this covers everything. Records cover everything, so that's not something you could just go off of and go, okay, this is definitely what it is because this record says so. Because that just seems, that, that seems kind, not, not really senile, but to just go that and have everyone agree, okay, yep, that must be it. That ain't gonna happen, chief. <laughs> It's kind of like, I, I'm the kind of person who has an open mind, which kind of leaves me with the aspect of, it really could be anything. Afterlife, it could be, I don't know, the freaking myths could actually exist, like, again, Greek mythology, Roman mythology, Norse, all that kind of stuff. I don't know. I, quite frankly, I'm almost positive that's not it. But that doesn't particularly mean I'm going to... The, the afterlife stuff, like where there's like river sticks for the Greek mythology, for example. May, maybe there's an afterlife that's like that. Maybe there's a god that runs it. I don't know. But I'm not just going to go, oh, it's a myth. There's no way. Because there's no... Uh, that it's, it's like any other religion. You can't confirm nor deny it. You, well, you can't confirm nor deconfirm it would be the better term in this case. Um, so, I mean, yeah, there you go. Those are my thoughts on, um, life itself, afterlife, um, I guess a little bit of religion, uh, in there, just because, you know, it kind of backs up different things, and, like, belief, I guess would be the better term rather than religion, and my idea on purpose, my thoughts on purpose. If you guys agree with anything I've said, let me know in the comments below and like that video. I usually do the push, but you know what? I'm not into it tonight. Um, like Andrew, uh, who gave me the idea for this video, if you guys do have any other suggestions for me for anything you'd like me to talk about, let me know in the comments below. I'd really like to hear it, and I will definitely consider it like I did this video. If you want to check out any other discussions and rants, I really recommend not watching the first one because it's a rant about something that's completely outdated. I'll have that playlist right over here. If you want to check out a random gaming playlist that I have, whether it's my live streams that I've done, or a random playlist of me playing a classic game of some sort, whether it's Square Enix's Final Fantasy X, which I am currently doing now, or Nintendo's original Legend of Zelda, I'll have that right over here. In the meantime, I'm going to head out. Thank you guys so much for watching again. And I'll see you guys next week for another Discussions and Rants video. Bye now. Or not. Let's try that again. Bye. <laughs>